All right, praise God. Well, happy Sunday morning to you, and happy 1st of December. Amen. Amen. We're about ready to close out another year. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Welcome. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. So you know what we got to do? We got to prepare ourselves to receive whatever God has for us. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, Patricia made some... Uh, between her and Stacy, make some awesome enchiladas, you know. And and before I go to the table, I gotta prepare myself to receive, amen. Mm -hmm. And that's what we gotta do when we get before God. Is He's got something for us, yeah. And we gotta be hungry. If you ain't hungry for the Word of God, you know what? You just gonna kick back and and, and, and just sit down and do nothing. Uh -huh. But you know what? Uh -huh. When the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, you're gonna say, "Wow, I need to do something. I need to get up." Mm -hmm. You gotta do something, you know, because. Yes. Remember, we say this all the time. Part-time believers, no match to a full-time devil. Yeah. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And we're going to be talking about, can God count on you? Mm -hmm. Amen. So you get ready to receive. Last week, we talked about, <laughs> don't crucify the pastor. Yeah. I'm just the messenger. I'm just bringing you this message, amen, that God has given me. Yeah. He's saying, can I count on you? Amen. Can I count on you? You know, he's our coach. And the coach always depends on his team. You know, yeah. he trains you, he equips you, yeah. and you go out and you perform. You do what he's called you to do. Amen. Yeah. So you prepare yourselves. Get in his word. Open the word. Read it. Study it. Meditate on it. Amen. Eat on it. Amen. But get it in you. Yeah. And you know, when, when when you go out into the game of life, the storms of life out there, you know what to, what to do and how yeah. to win. Amen. Yeah. You, you're not a loser going somewhere to happen. You're a winner going somewhere to happen. Amen. Yes, yeah. So see yourself this way, you know. And all this involves our words, okay? Yeah. All this involves our words because words can build you up or take you down. Yeah. And we need to remember that so we don't start just throwing words around. Amen. Mm -hmm. So all of you that are joining us by audio or video, prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepare a recibir lo que el Señor quiere tenga para usted. And he wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Grab your Bibles. Grab your source, church. Yes. And say it like you mean it. This is my Bible. I am what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. You know what? He's equipped you to succeed. Yes. He's gave you gifts. Yes. <laughs> you know, when somebody gives you a gift, you reach out and you take it. It's mine. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine one day you got to stand before him and say, you know, you never used the gifts I gave you. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, I was afraid. Mm -hmm. But I didn't give you a spirit of fear. I gave you a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. Yeah. Amen. So we don't have an excuse. <laughs> This is something else we talk about. Forget about the excuses. It's yes. time to get off your como se llama and let's get busy for God. Amen. Woo, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm preaching better than you ain't mad at me. Amen. Right. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> hallelujah. Let me go through this here. God's counting on you. There you go. Can God count on you? Yeah. Can you, see, you answer that for yourself, amen? Mm -hmm. When you see yourself in the mirror, that's your biggest problem you got to deal with, amen? God is counting on me, amen? There's a game of life going on out there, and guess what? You're in it. Yeah. And you just don't go out there halfway. Right. <laughs> you go out there prepared, amen? Amen. <laughs> go to the next one. We can always count on him. Right. We can always count on him, but can he count on us? Amen. <laughs> when troubles come, and they will come. I mean, I don't know where you've been, but uh, <laughs> we all get a good share of troubles, oh, problems, yeah. cares, problems, distractions. Oh, yeah. All these things come. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Giant storms of life will come. Oh, amen. <sighs> First Peter five. We're gonna be using this, but First Peter five and say, "Open your Bibles there. Let's read it together." Amen. Let me see. I got so many Bibles up here. Which one do I use? Just one. Just one. Just one. Amen. Well, the King James. And those of you that are uh, watching, so those of you that are listening, open your Bibles <laughs> to First Peter. Um, 
5, and we're going to read uh, the scripture, the verses. Uh, let me see. 7 and 8. First Peter. It was right before Second Peter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amen. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, right after James. Okay. So mine says, cast in what? Oh. All your cares upon him. You know, cares here uh, are anxieties, worries, <laughs> troubles, uh, uh, distractions, all these things that try to come against you. It says, cast all your cares on him because why? He cares for you. And it says, verse 8 says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion walking around <laughs> seeking who he may devour. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't prepare yourself, the enemy is going to have you oh, yeah. quick. Amen? So, we've talked so many times about this. Before you go into the world, when you wake up, first thing you do is say, Lord, thank you for waking me up. Yeah. Amen. With a heart yeah. of uh, gratitude. We just celebrated Thanksgiving. But let every day be a day of Thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Go to the next one. There we go. Okay, just leave it right there. Mm -hmm. Every day be a day of Thanksgiving. Let me read this to you, man, after this, so we can just close it up and, and go home. Okay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. God's counting on me. God is counting on you. Hoping we all pull through and fulfill our mission, not letting extra weights, sins, cares, distractions, uh, troubles, problems, or bad reports stop what he's called us, amen, stop mm -hmm. us from fulfilling what God has called you to do. Yeah. These things can stop you. These things can hinder you, amen, but we have to take authority. We have to take authority and stop that. You know, you hear bad reports all the time, but whose report are you going to believe? Mm -hmm. Are you going to believe the report of the Lord? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to believe the report of what the world is telling you? Right. Are you going to believe the negative report or the positive report? Amen. That's up to you. You make that decision. Amen. Uh, you want to stop from fulfilling what God has called you to do. He has called you and equipped you to win. He's called you to complete what he's called you to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. So he has given us everything we need. <laughs> what we do now will affect eternity. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. What you do will affect eternity. Yeah. Can you believe this? This is you. What we do, what you do will affect eternity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Can you imagine? <coughs> you share Jesus with somebody and somebody coming to the Lord affects eternity because that person now has taken been taken from hell into heaven. Yes. Amen. And you were used by God. Amen. You spoke the words. Amen. God, Jesus went to the cross, but you spoke and they received the free gift of salvation. Amen. Amen. So because of you sharing and you doing what God has called you to do, that person is now going to eternity. It affects eternity. God's counting on us. Mm -hmm. Listen, he's counting on us. Who are we? Believers. Yes. We're his children. We're the body of Christ. We're the church. Again, what we do, you and me, will affect eternity. Yes. God's counting on us. Amen. God's counting on Amen. you. Amen. Amen. So see yourself a part of God's team. Yes. You don't see yourself aside from it. You are part right in the middle of it. Amen. Yes. And guess what? Yes. The enemy's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh -huh. And you got to bring the good news yes. into a bad world. Right. You got to bring the good news into a negative world. Yes. Amen. You know, just because they're talking, <laughs> don't mean you got to join oh, and, right. and share right. the bad news they're talking. Mm -hmm. You bring the good news. Amen. Amen. Say, wow, you're different. You know, you can't hang out with us. That's right. Mm -hmm. God has taken you out of that and put you in a higher place. Yes. Thank Amen. You. But you bring the good news no matter where you go. Yes. And don't be ashamed of it. Woo, so I want to encourage right. you with this message <coughs> in our text. Um, let's go to Mark chapter 4. And this can also be found in Luke 8, but let's go to Mark 4. And Mark is right after Matthew and right before Luke. Mark chapter 4 and verses... 
35 through 41. Are you there? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 35 through 41. Okay. And the same day, when the evening had come, he, Jesus, said unto them, Let us pass over, let us pass over unto the other side. Mm -hmm. In red letters. So Jesus is speaking. Yeah. He told his disciples, We are going from this side of the lake or whatever to the other side. Yes. Amen. In this days, he would say, you know what? It's time to get up. Mm -hmm. And I want you to get prepare yourself so you can go to the next day. Yeah. <laughs> but he says, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he <coughs> was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. Mm -hmm. And 37 says, and there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. <laughs> you know, when you start your day, when they, before they started, it was nice and calm. Right. <laughs> before you start your day, everything is nice and calm. And all of a sudden, hell break loose. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, listen to this. 38 says, and he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on the pillow. Yeah. And they wake him and said, and say unto him, Master, careth not that we will perish, that we perish? And 39 says, and he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And 40 says, and he said unto them, Why are ye fearful, so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Mm -hmm. And 41 says, And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, as we go, you're going to find out you have the name of Jesus. You have yeah. the word of Jesus. You yeah. have the blood of Jesus. You yeah. have authority given to yeah. you. And you got to use these things. Amen? Yeah. When you get full of the word, when you hunger for the word, and you get full of the word, you're going to use it because you're going to need it as you step yeah. out into this nice, calm day. Yeah. Before you get where you're going, <laughs> hell's broke loose. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Jesus, help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you have all you need in you. You're yeah. equipped to fulfill. Yeah. You're equipped yeah. to go and do what he's called us to do That's because right. trouble is going to come. <laughs> yeah. Amen. If not, you know what? <laughs> We need to get you saved now. Mm. <laughs> come get saved because trouble is going to come. But you yeah. need to yeah. prepare yourself to know how to handle the troubles. Yes. Amen. Mm. It, yeah. it makes a big difference. Yes, it does. Text tells us what to do when troubles come. Mm. Jesus said, we're going to the other side. Uh -huh. Everything's calm right now. Yeah. <laughs> so when they started, guess what? The storms start. Mm. Daily, when we start our day, a nice, calm day. Yeah. Sometimes before we even walk out oh, of the house, oh. already there's troubles, yeah. there's storms already. already. Amen. So we got to have the peace in us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got to have the peace in us before anything else. You know, when you spend time with Him, just prepare yourselves. Yeah. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive and prepare yourselves to whatever the day brings. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Ah, set your priorities right. First thing is, Matthew 6, 33 says what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto yeah. you. Uh -huh. Lord, I just want to set myself right with you. Amen. Yeah. I know the storms are coming, yeah. but greater is he that's in me than he yes. that's in the world. The Bible yeah. says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh -huh. Remember this. Amen. Yeah. Put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. You've got the whole armor of God. Amen. Yeah. So yeah. praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you. Troubles come. To all people, save and unsaved. Hopefully, the saved ones, the believers, we know what to do. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. have the word of God. We have the name of God. And we're going to talk about that a little more. But family storms, family problems come, health problems, yeah. health storms, financial storms, uh -huh. ad uh, addiction storms, yeah. and marital storms. Amen. Mm -hmm. All these things will come. We've all been through some of these. We cannot camp out. And we cannot quit. Amen. Right. Amen. We cannot just uh, stay down, you know. Hey, we've been knocked down several times. 
We've been set back <laughs> several times, but guess what? We gotta get up. We gotta press on. We can't yeah. quit. It's not time to quit. It's time. Right. Get up, press on. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man, if you don't listen to what the word of God says, mm -hmm. somebody will tell you, you know what? You messed up. Mm -hmm. So now you gotta sit down. God can't use you anymore. You know, you messed up. Coach can't use you anymore. Oh, wow. And we've talked about this also. You know, when Peter, <laughs> he was ready to fight. And he was ready to kill for Jesus. Jesus says, before the night is over, the, you'll deny me three times before the crow, the, uh, uh, cock crows three times. And he did. Yep. Yep. But you know what? The coach didn't give up on him. That's Jesus right. didn't give up on him. Amen. Amen. He went back and he used him to preach some mighty messages yeah. that brought many thousands into the kingdom of God. Yeah. He's not finished with you. But you know what? Some of these uh, um, so-called believers, <laughs> people that don't know the word completely will tell you, God's done with you. Mm. God can't use you anymore. And you're going to sit down by the side, on the sideline and not worry anymore, sit on the bench and not worry anymore, and not do anything for God anymore? No. He says, hey, confess it, admit it, quit it, and get back in, in the game. Yeah. The game of life that he yes. wants you to be a part of it. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Praise God. So don't listen to what so-and-so says. That's right. <laughs> listen to what the Word of God says. Amen. You know, the Bible says the truth is going to set you free. Yeah. And you don't have to hear what... People say you have to hear what the word of God tells you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we got to press on. Don't quit. You know what? It's so easy to just quit. <laughs> Remember what? Yeah. Try being. We're spirit. We have a soul and we live in the body. Amen. You feed your spirit with the word of God. You renew your mind with the word of God. And you crucify your flesh. Because mm. your flesh yeah. wants to take it easy all the time. Mm. <laughs> The fact that we are saved doesn't mean that trouble will not come your way. That's right. When trouble That's comes, right. realize your sources. Yes. What's your source? Jesus. Mm -hmm. His word, his name, his blood, his authority. <laughs> not the world, not friends. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you go shed, uh, share mm -hmm. and <laughs> shed. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Vent. Uh -huh. And you go share. That's what I was going to yeah. say. Share with your friends. Uh -huh. your problems and they got worse problems than you yeah. you couldn't bring it to the master you couldn't bring it to the Lord he already knows yeah cast all your cares on him but you go share it with yeah people friends that got yeah. more problems than you do uh, can't help themselves yeah. how are they going to help you all right you know, we are not the church of the gospel. We're the church of the gospel. The gospel. Amen. Amen. Bring in the good God. news. Amen. Yes. <laughs> so it's not the world, not friends, mm. not drugs, mm. and not alcohol. Right. Amen. <laughs> Troubles always gets our attention. We always seem to magnify our problems more than we magnify our God. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you know your God, you know there's nothing bigger than your God. It doesn't matter how big your problem looks. It's not bigger than my God. That's right. Amen. But we always tend to speak the negative and speak and magnify the problem more than we magnify our God. And we got to change that. Yes. We got to turn that around. Yes. Amen. We're <laughs> We depend on self, we depend on our skills, our, our abilities. We depend on family, friends, finances, drugs, and alcohol. Everything seems to be going real smooth. Mm. We forget about our Heavenly Father. Yeah. You know, a tight shadow of, of that was uh, the prodigal son. Mm. You know, things were going real yeah. smooth. Everything mm. was going great, you know. Mm. I had a nice, easy life. Yeah. <laughs> and says, you know what, Dad? <laughs> Just give me my inheritance. I want to go and do my own thing, you know? Uh, yeah. So he takes off on his own, and he finds out it's not that easy. That's right. The enemy took him quick. Yeah. The world had him quick. He was in, in the hog pen, mm. you know? He had friends, his friends. He was eating with his friends, the pigs. Mm. <laughs> he said, you know what? I can do better at my father's house. Yes. yes. You know, the good thing is, Father never turns away from That's you. That's right. Yeah. And he's always there to receive you with open arms. Yeah. I don't care what you've been into. He's always willing to forgive and forget yeah. and to take you back. We should be smart enough to know 
you know, hey, I could just go back to father's house. Mm -hmm. This is the prodigal son said, I can just go back to father's house. Uh -huh. You know, and you know what the father's doing on a daily basis? He's looking. Yes. Waiting for his son to come back. Yes. He's waiting for his yes. daughter to come back. And just yes. throw a daughter in there, but God's waiting for his children yes. to come back home. Yes, he is. Amen. He sacrificed his son, and he's waiting for his children to come back home. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. And guess what? One day, here comes the prodigal son. Mm. And immediately, he says, the father ran to meet him. Mm -hmm. And he could have said, well, see, I told you. <laughs> you just kind of, you know, push him out and say, no, I can't help you anymore. He ran to meet him. And the son tried to put himself down and say, you know, I can no longer be your son. You can just uh, treat me as a, as a servant, right. as a slave, you know. You don't have to do this. He says, no, you're my son. Mm. And he clothed him. He put a ring on him. And he mm. killed him, fatted calf yes, just to did. celebrate. You know, my son is back. He was lost, but now he's found. Yeah. You know, yeah. we all have families that way. Yeah. Okay, we, have all, we all have family members this way. You know what? Nobody can reach him, but mm. God can. God can. God yes. can. You know, if you can't reach him, just say, Lord, you have somebody that can reach this yes, person. Yeah. You have somebody that can reach my daughter. You have somebody that can reach my son. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he will. And he has somebody. And there's hope for them. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But the prodigal son came home. And you know, there's a lot of prodigal sons and daughters mm -hmm. coming back home. Amen. And you know, we can't say, well, you're not good enough. You know, when Jesus was crucified, <laughs> they received him as a king one day. The next week, they're crucifying him. Yeah. yeah. But before, before he surrendered himself to the Father, he says, forgive him. Yes. If Jesus can forgive and forget, mm -hmm. who are we to hold anything Amen. against him? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord. But sometimes we use him as a spare tire or as a shovel. <laughs> you never heard that one before, have you? Mm -hmm. You know, he's always digging us out of trouble. Yes. <laughs> again oh, and again and again, he's oh, always digging us out of trouble. Amen. We need to grow up. Yes. We need to grow up. We treat him as a, as a spare tire. We use him only in case of emergency. Oh, he keeps digging me out. Oh. Again. I want to change. I want to change. Amen. Yes. How many times have we said that? Uh, dig me out this time. Huh. And I promise I'll change. No. Well, you know what? You ain't going to change right. mm -hmm. until you have a new birth on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Until you got born again. Yes. When you get up, when you're born again and receive Jesus, your Lord and Savior, you are going to change. If you haven't changed, that means you didn't get born again. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to change. Amen? Mm -hmm. And you're going to change from the inside out. Yes. Amen? People still going to see you and say, well, you're the same person. Yeah. Now when they see your words and your actions coming out of you, right. it's going to be totally different. Mm -hmm. Amen. Say, wow, something different about you. You're right. <coughs> I'm not that person anymore. Mm -hmm. Now you can't listen to enemy lies anymore. I mean, the uh, right. enemy uh, lies no more. Or hang out with the same uh, <coughs> mm. losers. Right. Losers. Amen. Yep. Amen. Hallelujah. And now, the Lord's brought a light. He's brought this uh, shining light in front of them, mm -hmm. you know, right in the circle, man, where you could be that shining light for them. Yes. Where they could be changed also, amen? amen. <laughs> We're powerless without him. We're no match to the enemy. Yeah. We're no match to daily spiritual battles or the storms of life. That's right. Part-time believers, no match to a full-time devil. That's right. John 10, 10 says, the enemy comes. Yes. To steal, yes. kill, destroy. Yes. Jesus says, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. So which one do you choose? Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. On a daily basis, the enemy is going to come. He's going to yeah. have your lunch. He's going to steal, kill, and destroy right. everything about you. Uh -huh. Or you could just have Jesus in you and have life more abundantly. Yeah. It's your choice. Amen. Amen. But you choose. Realize God is our source of power. Amen. Have an attitude of gratitude. Yes. And dependence. Hopefully the storms will drive us to God and not away from God. Amen. Amen. So abandon ship. Unload all excess baggage. Mm -hmm. All excess weight. Get rid of it. The, the devil and all his friends. Anyone or anything. Any distractions that are holding you back. Mm. Amen. You got to let it go. Yeah. Amen. When you got born again, <laughs> things changed. Yeah. 
Amen. Mm -hmm. So guess what? When they come to bug you again, you say, hey, you, you look different. You sound different. Mm -hmm. You're different. Oh, we yes. can't hang out with you yeah. no more. That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't go taking back what God has taken from That's you. That's right. Yeah. Amen. That's Just like I've told you so many times, if yeah. you go dump your trash in the dumpster, mm -hmm. you don't go back after a while and say, well, I want it back. Mm -hmm. It stinks. Mm -hmm. That's sin. Mm -hmm. Get rid of it. Submit to God. Cast it all on Him. Once again, 1 Peter 5, 7. Yeah. Thank God and thank God. Mm -hmm. Cast all your cares on Him. Amen. Amen. So, let us learn and rely on God on a daily basis. Amen. Yeah. And we're going to get right into <laughs> guard your word. Yes. Okay, leave it there. Matthew 6, 33. We, we talked about that. But seek first the kingdom of God and righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay. This is a different translation, but yeah, no, leave it on no. We're gonna read 34. 34 uh -huh. says, therefore do not worry about tomorrow, uh -huh. for tomorrow will worry yes. about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm trusting God. You know uh -huh. what? Tomorrow will have its troubles of oh, itself. Yeah. Okay, so but you know what? God has already been there. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. So I'm trusting him. Mm -hmm. But I'm trusting him for this day. Yes. And I want him with me on this day. He yes. says he never leaves you, nor forsakes you. That's right. He's always with you. Yes. Amen. So yeah. remember that. You're not by yourself. You say, well, right. I'm doing this all by myself. No, you're not. No, you're not. No. If you're a believer, God is with you. Right. Amen. Yes. So it's time for you to say, Lord, I receive you. Yes. as my Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Check this out. Praise God. Ah, seek the kingdom. This is in Luke uh, 12, 31. It says, seek the kingdom of God above all else, and he will give you everything you need. Uh -huh. You can mark that down and go highlight it, underline it, and make it yours. Amen? Amen. Make it yours. Put your name on there. Amen? <laughs> Jose will seek the kingdom of God above all else, and he will give you everything you need. Amen? We all have needs. He says he supplies all your needs. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So guard your words. Keep going. Do not be afraid or discouraged. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua Amen. 1 9. And of course, uh, Hebrews uh, 13 5 says that uh, he is with us at all times. Amen. Amen. He's with us all the time. Keep going. <laughs> count your blessings instead of your troubles. Like I say, a lot of times we count our troubles before we magnify, we, we count our blessings. Amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got it backwards. Count your smiles instead of your fears. Mm. <laughs> or tears, excuse me. <laughs> count your God <laughs> instead of others. Uh -huh. Amen? Ooh, yeah. Hallelujah. These are good things, you know? We got to remember these things. Keep going. Yeah. There we go. This is where we're at. And of course, this is uh, the scripture. Proverbs 18, 20, and 21. A man's stomach shall be satisfied with the fruit of its mouth. Mm. From the produce, from the produce of its lips is he shall be filled. And mm. verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Uh -huh. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Yeah. So yes. words do mean something. You know, yeah. we used to say this in the playgrounds. Sticks uh -huh. and stones can hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. No. Wrong. That's wrong. Mm. Since death and life are in the power of the words mm. or the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Yes. One word can destroy the word. Uh, one word can heal and avoid being hung by your tongue. Mm. Avoid being hung by your tongue. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because it's you that's speaking the words. Yeah. So you can be hung by your tongue oh, just yeah. by the words you say. Yeah. Amen. So be careful. Ooh, this is something that we really need to camp on right here. Guard your words. Speak yeah. faith-filled words yes, in your life. <laughs> Sounds hard. No excuse. Just mm -hmm. do it. But you gotta practice it. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to practice it. Yeah. Our words are carriers. They carry power. They carry yeah. life or death. Yeah. Amen. That's what the word of God says. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Uh -huh. Amen. So we got to be careful. You know, we just throw words around. Yeah. And I've told you this many times. You grab a, a pistol, you grab a gun, and loaded gun, and you just don't aim and shoot shoot it off anytime you want That's to. Right. That's You're right. selective of what you shoot at. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. We need to do the same thing with the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just don't speak it out and just let it come out. Yeah. You know what? There's a guard right there. You know, yeah. before I say it, I need uh -huh. to think it. Uh -huh. Meditate. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. I just don't shoot it out. All I right. want to stop it and say, is this going to, am I releasing life or am I releasing death? Mm. Do I want it in my life? Because mm -hmm. you know what? You're showing it to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not giving it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You they might have you might have intended to give it to them, but it's coming back at oh, you. Boy. Because it's coming in here. All right. Okay? It's not going to hurt them. You know, it's just like taking poison and you want them to it'll affect them. Mm -hmm. You're the one that's speaking the word, it's gonna come back mm -hmm. to you. Amen. Yeah. So yeah. you don't do that. Most of the words spoken today are negative. They bring death, they bring trouble, they bring problems. Mm -hmm. We're bombarded daily by negative media, yeah. TV, internet, newspapers, yeah. radio, oh. people, family, friends, and coworkers. Oh. Remember, we the tribe in, so we want to feed on the word. Our soul is our mind, will, and emotions. We must renew our minds to the things yeah. of God. Amen. If yeah. you don't renew your mind to the things That's of right. God, you're running in the flesh, and the flesh is going to do the most easiest thing. It's just going to shoot off. It's just going to sit back and do nothing. And we need to, on a daily basis, feed on the Word of God, our spirit man, and renew our minds with the Word of God. Amen? Otherwise, we're going to be just like the world and the body. The flesh is just going to have its way, but we're to crucify the flesh. Amen? Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, don't be conformed the patterns of this world, yes, but be transformed by renewing your mind. Yeah. Then you will be able to test and approve what God is willing, yeah. what God will is, <coughs> his goodness and pleasing and perfect yes. will of God. Amen? Yeah. So we need to renew our mind. Yeah. And where is the battlefield all the time? In yeah. the mind. In the the mind. battlefield, the, the mind is where the battlefield is always. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why I tell you all the time before you come, to be with God, renew your minds, mm -hmm. <laughs> settle Amen. your minds, and say, Amen. "I'm not going to worry about what the score is, the Cowboy score yeah. is. <laughs> I don't care if they're losing. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to be open and oh. mind be still and hear Amen. what God has for me." That's right. Amen. But that's on a daily basis. Okay, we need to remember the battlefield is the mind. And the enemy can put thoughts there uh -huh. and use people to bring you negative reports, bad yeah. reports, yeah. and you're hearing these things. Yeah. But you know, you got to renew your mind says, no, that's not what the Word of God said. Right. I'm not receiving that. That's not for me. Amen. Delete, 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 delete. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Get it out of there. Yeah. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. Because the neg this negative world. This negative media is going to bombard you on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. Not too many people. I mean, just about everybody watches TV or uh -huh. hears the radio or reads something, and uh -huh. it's negative, negative, yeah. negative. Okay, and yeah. you're going to be doing what it says, and we need to stop that. Renew your mind. Amen. Amen. The power of faith-filled words will completely change your attitude about the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this is very important. Okay, we need to stop. Start one day at a time. Mm -hmm. It's always been this way, but now we're going to change it, mm -hmm. and it's going to be this way, one yeah. day at a time. You know how you climb the ladder to the top of the, wherever you're going, yeah. one rung at a time. Yes, yes. Amen. On a daily basis, we're yeah. going to learn the Word of God, one bite at a time, mm -hmm. one step at a time, one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's the way it is. Amen. But we're going to make the change. We got to make the change. Amen. Because we don't want to be the way we are anymore. That's right. They can change your life and your future. They can change your destiny. Mm -hmm. They can change your eternity. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. I'm tired of <laughs> trying to do things on my own. Mm -hmm. I've made a mess of my life. Yeah. I need to. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Change the things you say. Change the words. Amen. Amen. They can change your words are like seeds home. Going before us, planning your future mm -hmm. of life or death. Mm -hmm. You know, it's time we take this word seriously. Yes. You know, why we got a problem? It's because we haven't been obeying his word. Mm -hmm. Since we got to be hearers and doers, and doers of his word. 
Amen. I just hear it. Well, I just went and sat in church and heard the word of God. Yeah. And now I'm going back to do whatever. Yeah. Well, you came and sat in our assembly, in our meeting, but you are the church. Mm -hmm. And if you're not full of the word, you're going to be full of negative stuff. Mm -hmm. No good to nobody. Amen. No good, thank you. No good to no one. And not even yourself. When trouble comes, comes your way again. Know the word of God and speak the word of God. Amen. Yeah, amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Listen to this. People react to troubles or storms in different ways. Some grumble. Some gripe. Yeah. Some groan. Mm. Some grieve. And some groan. No. Yeah. You choose yeah. which one is you. <laughs> we want to grow. Yeah, you yes. know, another word for grow is mature. Yes. We want to mature. You know, we grow yeah. our babies. <laughs> and they grow, mm -hmm. and they grow, and they mature in the things of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to do the same thing. Yeah. That's why it's so important. The Bible says, train your children the way they should go. Yeah. And when they're old, they won't depart from right. it. Amen. But we teach them, we teach them, we teach them, we teach them. Amen. We don't just shove them up to somewhere else, a daycare or a school or whatever, and, and uh, not teach them anything. And then when the world teaches them, guess what? They're in trouble. Right. And you're in trouble because you don't know what to do with them now. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> trouble will never leave a person the same. It will either leave you bitter oh boy. or better. Yeah. I choose better. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's mature in the things of God. Amen. Hopefully you will leave it will leave you better. Yes. You can live a successful life even in the midst of the storms. Even in the midst of troubles. Yeah. They say that there's peace in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's where I want to meet Jesus. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Right in the eye of the storm. You know, he told the disciples, didn't you think Jesus knew mm -hmm. that the storm was going to rise up? You know, as soon as he went to sleep, he had peace yeah. about himself. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care what, what rises up. Mm -hmm. I have peace about me. Amen. The disciples weren't sure yet. Yeah. So when the storm rose, immediately they ran to Jesus and said, don't you care? <laughs> we got problems out here. <laughs> we perish. He says, where's your faith? But he spoke the word. Yeah. What did he speak? He spoke the word. Yeah. God spoke all this into existence with yeah. words. Yeah. Words are powerful. Yes, are. Amen. So we got to be careful. Keep going. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you will have to live with the consequences of everything you say. Oh. What you say can preserve life or destroy it. Oh. So you must accept the consequences of your words. Okay. And you have to accept that. Who spoke the word? Mm -hmm. You did. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you got to be careful not to say those things. Well, I just lost my head. <laughs> well, I just have to share something with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, guess what? It's still, you still, what you sow is what you get. Amen. Yeah. Keep going. <clears throat> Words have power. Yes, indeed. Our God is telling us this. So who are we to say, we can just, hey, I can get by, no problem, you know? No. <laughs> Keep going. <clears throat> Every destiny is at the mercy of the tongue. Mm. I wrote words on the bottom. Mm. Every destiny is at the mercy of your words. Mm. So you're going to speak the right words or the negative words. Mm. Live words or negative words. Mm. Positive or negative. Yeah. Every destiny, every day, every destiny is at the mercy of your words. Amen. Good. Keep going. Unspoken words today become a living reality tomorrow. Words spoken today. Mm -hmm. Amen. So remember mm -hmm. but we need to catch this it's in your world mm -hmm. amen I'm sowing this garden and this garden is your life yes. and you're sowing negative things in your garden you know what do we do with our garden we grow beautiful things great great things great plants <coughs> great, great, great fruits whatever we don't want it to grow, uh, sow seeds mm -hmm. uh, uh, weeds <laughs> We don't want the weeds growing there. We want good things growing there. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we don't go around just shooting off anything. No. 
Right. Praise God. Keep going. Amen. Whew, I just threw this in for you. Ha! It says, anyone can count the seeds in an apple, but only God can count the number of apples in a seed. You know, maybe there's 10 seeds you counted, but how many of you can count how many uh, apples in that seed? Yeah. Or how many trees are going to grow out of this one seed? One tree, but how many uh, apples on that one tree? Yeah. Uh, only God can do this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Man, this is awesome. Whew, words are powerful. Seeds are powerful. Go ahead. That's the last one. That's the last one? Okay, good. That's the last one I want to show you. <laughs> so, we're getting ready to close and we'll finish next week. Amen. Yeah. But just because troubles or storms come your way doesn't mean that you have to take it lying down. That's right. Throw in the towel, quit, give up. <coughs> we're not to quit. This is what you remember. We're winners. Yeah. We're overcomers. We're more than conquerors. Yeah. We can do all things all through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. That's what we need to remember. Amen. Amen. So things may come, troubles may come, but guess what? Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. You know? Yeah. When David went and saw the giant, mm -hmm. he knew God was backing him. When you go out into the storms of life and you see those giant storms out there, you're the little David and says, hey, my God is bigger than those giants out there. And those giants are going to be there. But guess what? Great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. 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 So praise God. We'll stop right there and we'll pick up yeah. from there next week. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can God count on you? Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, God is counting on you. You know what? If you haven't joined God's team, now's the time to join. If you never accepted Christ, now it's time to accept him. Amen. Amen. All you have to do is say, Lord, I failed you. I sinned against you. I repent. I ask you to come be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know Amen. what? He's going to receive you. Just like he received the prodigal son. He come back and he's going to receive you with open arms. Amen. Amen. And it's time for you to make a change. Start changing your words. Uh, start reading the word of God. Get that hunger to study and be there to study his word more and more. And find your church that's church uh, based on the Bible. And they're amen. teaching the front of the Bible. Amen. And you go there and you start working. And you start serving. Amen. So praise God. And God can do all these things for you. And the enemy, you don't have to listen to uh, lies of the enemy anymore. Amen. And you can be somebody. And God can depend on you. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. I don't know about